Acids are those substances that donate hydrogen ions, which is just a hydrogen atom with its electron removed, which are essentially protons. The most popular examples being hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid, of both which contain protons ready to be donated. Although free hydrogen ions cannot exist, and since it's merely a nucleus with a single positive charge, this charge is concentrated into a volume of space that is only about a hundred millionth as large as the volume occupied by the smallest atom. Think of a pebble sitting in the middle of a sports stadium. This results in an extremely high charge density of the proton and strongly attracts to any part of a nearby atom or molecule in which there is an excess of negative charge. For example, water and its negatively charged polar region around the oxygen. Therefore, when acids are dissolved in water, the water molecule is protonated by the hydrogen ion and creates what is called the hydronium ion. But it is absolutely acceptable to write this as just a hydrogen ion in chemical reactions. Bases are those substances that contain either the hydroxide ion or the oxide ion or produce the hydroxide ion in solution. Popular bases include sodium hydroxide and copper hydroxide. Ammonia is also considered a base as when it reacts with the water, it produces the ammonium ion and the hydroxide ion. Bases that are soluble in water are referred to as alkalis. Neutralization reactions are those involving an acid reacting with a base, producing a salt, which is essentially an ionic compound, in water. For example, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, producing the salt, sodium chloride and water. And it's already balanced. Predicting the salt is best seen when writing a full ionic equation, as in this example, there are essentially ions floating in water. A double replacement reaction can be seen where the hydrogen ion is more strongly attracted to the hydroxide ion forming water, and the sodium ion is more strongly attracted to the chloride ion producing your salt, sodium chloride. But this is still floating around in solution, so it hasn't really changed. These are known as your spectator ions. The water molecule, however, has formed so has undergone a reaction. Therefore, we can rewrite this as a net ionic equation, only involving the ions that reacted. Here's another neutralization reaction. Calcium hydroxide reacting with nitric acid to produce calcium nitrate and water. But how can you predict the salt? Once again, this is best done by writing the full ionic equation, which is really time consuming, but eventually you can do this in your head. Calcium ion is attracted to the nitrate ion, so there's your salt, and water is your other product too. Obviously, this can be represented by a net ionic equation. Since the calcium nitrate is really just dissociated and floating in solution, the formation of water is your net ionic equation.